Well, um, I am back from Franklin Graham's rally. And I um, hope you watched my other Franklin Graham videos um, before, um, both the 10 rules um, and the videos pleading with him not to do what he did today. Um, Franklin Graham gave the same old speech, the same patriotic, theocratic, godless secularism speech. And he talked about biblical values a lot, but he never mentioned justice, a biblical value that is in the Bible over a hundred times. He mentioned Christians. Christian leaders should take over Washington, take over the Capitol, take over. That's theocracy. And another thing that I noticed he didn't do is he mentioned Christians. Christians should do this. Christians should do that. Christians, Christians, Christians. But he never quoted the man we serve. He never quoted the King of Kings. He never quoted Jesus. Fully God, fully man, who died on the cross for his sins, but came to live to show us how to live. He never quoted him. How can you be an evangelist without quoting Jesus Christ? I mean, and I just saw patriotic fervor. I saw people who were worshiping America, but not worshiping God. I saw people praying, but praying empty prayers, prayers with no backbone. I went to a candlelight vigil uh, for those who were killed in Orlando on, on Sunday night. And um, I saw and felt more of the Holy Spirit among godless fags than I had today. And there were atheists. I mean, I, I wanted to scream out during his sermon. I didn't, but there was this one time when we were able to, he asked for us to say out loud, loud our repent, uh, what our nation should repent of. And I, I said, our uh, idol worship, that we idol the gun, we idol the flag, we idol the money, we idol ourselves. I, I mean, I wanted to, but I promised the chaplain guy that I, that I wouldn't. But once he got off the stage, I was free. I mean, I, I felt like, a, I, I mean, probably a lot of people thought I was a crazy man. I mean, I was like John the Baptist. I mean, just quoting Matthew 23, uh, 2 Timothy 3, um, this parts of the Sermon of the Mount. And uh, I saw this, fags must stop, uh, like repent or perish <clears throat> type of guy. And I tapped him on the shoulder and I said, sir, can I talk to you? And then he didn't, and he walked off. And then I started doing the same type of fiery preaching, talking about those who exploit the poor, those who take bribes, those who serve money, and trying to apologize to those who were pushed away. Unfortunately, they thought I was just one of them. And, and I, there were atheists who were just as bad as fundamentalists. They didn't want to dialogue. They didn't want to listen. They just wanted to yell at me. And I had opportunities. I said, um, oh yeah, I'll listen to what you have to say, but can you listen to what I have to say? And, and just yelling at me, just like people saying, you're, go you're going to hell. I mean, just saying, don't you, uh, when have you given up, uh, uh, up uh, your reason? Uh, uh, you you're a coward because you believe in God, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. We're in desperate times, but all I know is that Franklin Graham proved that he's a false prophet today. Um, but he can repent and he can come to God. All false prophets have the opportunity. But Willie, he had a chance today and he blew it. God bless.